All right, guys, we're going to try this one more time. This thing is giving me fits, but I really want to give you this video, so we're going to give it one more shot. All right, so we're going to talk about Kingdom Protista. Now, you have a graphic organizer that you need to fill out to go with this, so make sure you are doing so. So, first off, Kingdom Protista, once it goes where it's supposed to, and go back to the beginning. There we go. Ha ha. All right, so some cell characteristics to start off. Now, all protists are eukaryotes. Now, a eukaryote has a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. If you look on the picture on the right, they actually call them a macronucleus and a micronucleus, and then you have some vacuoles and things like that. Now, the nucleus is that macro and micronucleus we're talking about. Now, most protists are unicellular organisms. Now, unicellular means they're made of one independent cell like our picture on the left. Now, some algae uh, forms of protists are multicellular, but they're not multicellular like we are, you know, having tissues and organs and things like that. They just happen to get in big groups. Now, another thing to note are that uh, Kingdom Protista uh, protists do not have a cell wall, so they're not like plants in that way. Now, however, they can be heterotrophs or autotrophs. Uh, and autotrophs, that's something they share with plants. Heterotrophs is ma what makes them look a little bit more like animals. Now, this one on the left, this amoeba, that is a heterotroph. Uh, you can even see some of the things that it ate inside of it. Uh, on the right, those are autotrophs. You can see by the green color, that's a good clue to know they have chlorophyll in them and they're going to go through photosynthesis. Now, don't forget, heterotrophs get food from others, as in they eat others. Autotrophs can make their own nutrients. Now, uh, locomotion is the next topic that's on your graphic organizer, and we have talked about this before, very close to the beginning of the year. We even watched some videos on these different types of movement. But just to review, and so that you can fill out your stuff, cilia are like the picture on the left. That's a paramecium, and if you look real close, you can see it almost looks like they have little broom bristles on the edges of outside edges of the cell. Those are cilia. They move in uniform movement to uh, push them forward and back. Now, the middle picture right here, that is an amoeba again, and it has pseudopodia. So this part right here and this part right here, these are little extensions of its cell membrane and cytoplasm, and they use those to kind of flow around whatever they need, or they can push them out and then follow along like the blob. Now, we also watched this one engulf its prey in case of that one. It was a paramecium like this guy, and engulf it and digest it. That is also something they can use their pseudopodia for. Now, this guy right here, he's a giardia, and he has flagella. They're these long whip-like structures they push back and forth. Uh, the only difference between flagella and cilia is that there are more cilia, and but the flagella are longer. But they use the ba about the same motion, except these don't always go uniform. Sometimes they'll all whip in different directions. Now, I have a video. I'm not going to show it during this video. The video within a video thing seemed a little bit too much like Inception. But it's to the tune of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, if you are old enough to know what that is and goes through a couple of these basics again and uh, you're more than welcome to go to YouTube and watch it or you can get go on the Prezi link on my webpage and watch it there as well. Now if you need some more information you can go to Biology Corner which if you want to just type in that, this address you can do it that way or like I said the Prezi link is also on my website. So hopefully this helps out and hopefully this video will finish itself the way it's supposed to, though sometimes I have my doubts. Thank you. Hopefully I'll, this helps out.